Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Keep in mind this is general, so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, feel free to check your other placements. So what do we have for Cancer when it comes to love? Signs and synchronicities. Some of you had a breakup. Crossroads and mystery. Okay, there's something fishy going on with a breakup. I get that some of you suspect something from this person that you had a breakup with. Like, suspecting that, I feel like some, I'm getting multiple messages at once. Some of you suspect that they're watching you. Some of you suspect that um, they're trying to decide what to do. Some of you suspect that they didn't mean or didn't want the breakup. There's something, something you're wondering. Let me see, what do we have for Cancer? Okay. Hmm. Past events affecting current energy. Your intuition might be correct here because you have incoming communication. You have obsession. Someone is constantly, Someone constantly thinks about you, comparisons, stalking, keeps photos and screenshots. This could be a partner, ex, family member, friend, foe, or comic. So, hmm. You might be right if you're, if you're suspecting that they're stalking, that, they're, that they regret something. You might be right, because I said that before the card came out. I did feel that with mystery like you suspect. That it's not what it seems. We have natural beauty. Everything else is a plus. Around the way girl. Stylish. Starstruck. Showstopper. Lover and friend. And you know what? Appeal. Sex appeal. Okay. So. <sighs> this person's still attracted to you. As you can see. I, I feel like you're suspecting that their feelings haven't changed at all. And I think you're right. I think they, I think you suspect they made a mistake and you're right. Let me see. What's going on with Cancer and their current love situation, their connection? What does Cancer need to know right now when it comes to love? suspected is correct cancer everything <laughs> everything i feel you're suspecting is correct the lovers your overall energy this gives this is giving me the vibe especially if you're married to this person that when i was taking out your side of things i felt like you know that it's not over or kind of there's kind of a knowing your feelings for them are quite strong. You're seeing them as your spouse or marriage material, someone you, you're committed to. And they want positive change, but they may feel differently every day. So they really are at a crossroads here. They're trying to make a decision, and you're right. They are at a crossroad. They don't know what to do. They're thinking about this. You may have been pushing them away. I'm seeing that some of you may have messaged them and said, you know, you may have sent them a message like basically saying that the door is open, that they're open to, to talk to you or that you're there for them if, if they need you type of thing. I don't know why I'm seeing that message, that type of, that type of message, but it's, it's like they're aware that you're no longer pushing them away and it's like both of you are, are acknowledging that you are no longer pushing this away and that there's some kind of opening that you're available it doesn't have to be that you said that but they could sense that you're not mad at them 
anymore or they're soon to feel that way. You guys may not have been getting along. Some of you, if you're not married to this person, they could be married and you're, you're feeling like they could finalize a divorce or something like that. What's blocking is that there's something someone isn't seeing or refusing to see. So it could be this person refusing to see their true feelings here. Why the Wheel of Fortune? This person needs some type of practical way of knowing how they feel. It almost like they need to be around you to be sure of how they feel or figure out how they feel or actually talk about it. Why the Two of Pentacles? Some of you could be dealing with someone who's married. They're trying to figure out who to choose or going through a divorce. For some of you, if there was a third party involved, they're trying to choose and they could let go of the third party with the Three of Pentacles being in reverse. Why the Four of Wands in reverse? They're letting something go. Where you are, there's some letting go here of a, of a relationship or a marriage. So it's either they finalize a divorce or I don't see. There's a letting go and a moving on I'm seeing. And then there's the tower. Why the Hierophant? Some of you are waiting for a divorce, like waiting for someone to be single or no longer married. Hmm. If you're married to this person, then you're good. But if you're waiting for them to divorce someone, the divorce could happen, but there's this tower. Why the tower? Could I play the tower card? Some of you could find out that they're not really divorced or not legally divorced. Why am I getting the same story? Let me come off this divorce story. Oh my gosh. This story has a lot to do with marriage or a, a, a long or a serious relationship between you and someone. It could be that this breakup leads to you shockingly being back with this person with the Ten of Pentacles. Let me move on. I feel like the, the message is waiting for me somewhere else. Hold on. Why the Four of Cups in reverse? Yeah, there was conflict. There was misunderstandings but I see you being open now like you were closed off at first and now you're open or soon to be what you don't see coming disappointment breakup slow movement why the two of cups in reverse This looks like for some of you, this is an on and off connection. What the hell? This is an on and off relationship. There's so much indication of breakup, divorce, but then there's healing, and then there's the lovers back together, the king of cups. Some of you are, are, are ending a marriage and you're gonna be dating someone new. This king of cups for some of you, may come after a breakup so if you've had a breakup and you're done with that person and moving on from them with this chariot you are moving towards this king of cups male or female so this looks like someone who is offering offering you love why the nine of cups in reverse 
Ugh. Some of you are letting go of someone who had you in a third party situation. Either that, or you meet someone new while being with this person. There's so many stories. This can be vice versa. When it comes to the third party, it could be, it could be you who has this person and a new person, or them who has you and a spouse, or you and someone else, and somebody chooses. But ultimately, you end up with someone here. Oh my God, this is one of those reads. And I'm being drawn to the obsession card. So who's obsessed? I do feel like this person may hold back. As long as they don't know how they feel, they may hold back, but they may still watch you. During this breakup, there may have been, especially if it's been a long time since you guys broke up, there may have been someone else they dated and they're trying to choose. If you had sent this message to them um, after breaking up a long time ago, that may have sent them into this crossroads where they're like, okay, I'm dating someone now, but I would like to be back with cancer type of thing, which creates that third party, that, that triangle where they're now considering you. What's this person's hidden truth when it comes to cancer? I don't even understand what I'm saying. I hope you understand the story because it made no sense to me. Yeah, we'll, we will be together again. See? This person, it's like they're, they're obsessing over the idea of being with you, but they have a decision to make. So all I can say is that it may have been a long break between you guys to the point where they even started dating someone new thinking that you were done with them. Then you send them this message like letting them know that you're open, that you're not mad at them. And then you're like, oh my God, cancer wants me back now. But I have this other person. <laughs> this story is exhausting me. <laughs> Let's see. I remember every detail of that day. So they remember the breakup and they're thinking about it. We have... I don't react when people mention you. They're hiding this connection if they have someone else. They have to kind of not react or hide the fact that they miss you. They're seeing you as no longer pushing them away, so it's like you popped up on them. Or it could be vice versa. I'm getting a, like the, just just trying to explain this story is making me tired. <laughs> what do we have for cancer? It's safe for you to love. Deception. Someone's wearing a false mask. Financing career. Some of you're focusing on your finances, but this person may be hiding the fact that they may have someone else while they try to make a decision. With past events affecting current energy, they're thinking about the day you guys broke up. So that could be why they have mixed emotions about you. Because they're thinking about, okay, cancer, cancer opened the door for me, but what about that day when we broke up? That horrible day. Oh my gosh, I'm getting tired and tired and tired. <laughs> we have hot to hot conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So there may be a conversation to straighten this out. But there is a lot, like, especially if you guys have been separated a long time. There is a lot that may have happened in between. Maybe you both dated others in between. If this is a new breakup, like you just broke up, you will be getting back together. And it's as simple as that. If, it's, if you guys just broke up, but if it was a long time ago... There's so much that happened in between. We have love versus, or money versus love and love. So it could be that love overpowers a money situation. Manipulation and confusion. Someone's trying to cover something, something up here. The only thing that I see it's either they're not being honest about being legally divorced, that's one story, or they dated, they started dating someone while you guys were broken up, thinking that you wouldn't take them back. Now they have to figure out 
how to get rid of this person to be with you or how to hide the situation. Ultimately, it's very strong that they want to be with you. And then there's the other story, Cancer. There's so many stories that you may be done with someone and moving on to a new love. This King of Cups. I'm exhausted. There's like five different stories in front of me. Please take what resonates. I see like five different rows. Just go down your road. I think I've answered all five stories. <sighs> Ultimately, I, I see for the most part a positive, positive outcome for you. Whether it's you moving on to someone new or you being chosen by this person. But they might they may be hiding some things that they did when you guys were broken up, but you know. Heart to heart conversations will straighten everything out. So Cancer, this is what I'm seeing for you. I hope this was helpful. There is Pisces energy. There is fellow Cancer, there's Leo. A lot of Leo. There's Libra. And those are the main signs. So I hope this was helpful. Feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.